So while we have that um, disrupting the network and potentially kind of creating this FUD and this downward pressure, which uh, when it's when the dust settles, is probably a good long term thing. Um, at the same time, we also have some positive things that are going on that we kind of have to balance out as well. Right. So uh, seems like one of the big ones is the whole El Salvador piece, which I know you've kind of mentioned as well a little bit. Um, and uh, as one nation gets out of it, um, another one jumps into it. Um, and so we're seeing El Salvador kind of adopt that as a, as an, as an asset. And now we're seeing several other countries, um, starting to jump in as well. So how do you offset that good news? I guess with, uh, I mean, there's yeah. massive demand there. Yeah. So you, you got to consider the weight of the evidence, right? Everything and, and, and add it together. Um, El Salvador is great news. So that's, you know, it's it's this, the long-term vision of Bitcoin solely playing out and starting in the smaller company, countries like El Salvador. And, and also this year we're seeing gradual um, institutional and and company adoption and fund adoption of, of Bitcoin, which is great. I, I thought there would be more probably in the last few months. So we, the big ones are obviously Tesla and then Michael Saylor, but then we didn't really see some of the more big names we thought might have happened by now, which probably didn't contribute, you know, can, kind of contributed to Bitcoin probably stagnating a bit in those months. But broadly, it's going the right direction. And I think a lot will depend on how that plays out from here. If we see, you know, Paraguay or other countries adding it as legal tender in the next weeks and months, and maybe, you know, more funds like last week, there's a $2.2 billion um, crypto fund announced. So the more this stuff happens, the, the the better it is for the the for the for the short to midterm for Bitcoin. So where where I kind of I see lots of pros and cons. So you can probably tell that I have a bit of uncertainty where things are now. And I've written a newsletter that there's a range between thirty two and forty thousand uh, from a sort of technical point of view, which we're in, which is kind of like no man's land. And it will really be interesting to see if and when we do break out of that range to either side, what the fundamental picture is. So. If you look at just the Bitcoin long-term sort of cyclical metrics, you could definitely argue the cycle top is in. I would say if you look at the ones that really matter, it's probably 60% just based on Bitcoin history, the top is in and we're now in a bear market. But there's also a lot of metrics right now which are really oversold. Um, things like, you know, the hash room is one indicator, the May multiple was 0.7. Um, there's an argument for the Wickoff accumulation right now, and, and also the, the the Bitcoin futures sentiment. The market is heavily short, or, or there's a more of a skew to the short side, which often means we're near a bottom. So I think locally there's a there's a bottom, midterm slightly higher probability of the top being in. That said, it will really matter when what the most important time will be when we break out what the conditions are. So if we go to 40 or 45,000 and then everyone's like, yeah, buy the dip, all markets on and the, and the open interest and leverage goes through the roof again and everyone's long, then I'll probably be like, okay, the top is in. <laughs> right. um, it depends on the conditions then, right? If we get there and it's the opposite and people are like, oh no, this is the uh, the dead cat bounce and and the market's shorting and, um, and, and other metrics like network value undervalued, and 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 the picture looks better, then it, then we could definitely see great continuation. So I, I kind of more focus on that shorter term, sort of weekly to monthly level. Um, if you're looking, you know, multi years out, I think you know Bitcoin's in a great shape and things are going in the right direction.